Let me show you a case study of an 11 year old girl that had a bunch of symptoms, migraines, headaches, fatigue, joint muscle pain, lightheadedness, dizziness, and sleep problems. Now, the first thing I think is mold. So let's see if it's there. And there it is. We see ochratoxin at a 17. We see gliotoxin at a 200. Now, if you look at this human body graphic, you'll see gliotoxin and ochratoxin are both neurotoxins. So if we see dizziness or migraines, we automatically can link it to those two mycotoxins. Now, usually there's a gut component, meaning when you have mold toxicity, a lot of times the immune system is weakened and SIBO takes over, meaning dysbiosis or bad bugs, okay? Bad bacteria that start to overpopulate. You see here in the GI map stool test, there's a lot of strep. We see staph. Pseudomonas, Enterococcus, we see Candida, which Candida rarely shows up on a stool test. So if that's the case, it's usually quite high. Now the collateral damage of all this is it affects digestion. You'll see here that the elastase is too low. This is pancreatic enzyme function. It's simply too low. She's not going to digest her food very well, and that's going to lead to nutrient deficiencies. So as expected, when you look at the organic acids test, you'll see all these nutrient deficiencies here. B6 was zero. B2 is close to it. Vitamin C is way too low. CoQ10 is too low. Biotin. Just look at the whole trend of nutrient deficiencies stemming from gut imbalances. And to top it all off, because these symptoms were so weird, I ran a Lyme panel and you'll see here Borrelia burgdorferi showed up, Babesia, which is a parasite, and Borrelia recurrentis, which you can also call tick-borne relapsing fever. So you got to factor in all these different pieces if you really truly want to get someone better. This girl was able to heal it took a while, but there's a lot of moving parts here. So if you're struggling with those type of symptoms or just other weird, unexplained symptoms, this is the type of workup you need. In most cases, blood work is not going to reveal any of this data.